Well, indeed, your vote is your right. What happens then when politicians try to buy your right to freely choose uh, leaders offering you money in exchange for your vote? It's just four days to the presidential and national assembly elections, and TVC Breakfast sought the views of Ondo residents on vote buying and if that will be a deciding factor in the polls coming. I'm not going to sell my vote because my vote is my future. I'm going to cast my vote to determine who is going to lead us in this country and that the leadership of this country determines the direction of our future tomorrow. So I'm not going to sell my vote. Everything boils on the uh, integrity and as far as I'm concerned, I will not because I will vote for my conscience and will not even collect money. It's not even against my religion to collect money and vote for another party. Because some people say they will collect money and they vote against. It's even wrong. Why must you collect money? It's better not for you not to collect money than rather to collect money and vote for another party. I think we, we, we've passed the generation where the politicians should influence who we should vote and why we should vote at the expense of Maggie and Salt they are going to provide for us. I think that should be, be way back in time. I think we, we, we've come to an era that we should vote for who we feel we should vote for. I vote for the person I want in power based on credibility. I'll not sold my vote and I will never do. My vote always counts for him whom I feel is has the integrity to have my vote. All right. Nigerians, Nigerians speaking there. Anytime they, you know, when they're having their say, it's so beautiful to hear them on the streets, what they think, what they feel, and how they express themselves. Absolutely, absolutely, Mike. You see them, uh, they seem to have an understanding yeah. uh, of it is. And people, interestingly, are also saying, uh, not that they would say they would collect anyway, but we're seeing most people, you know, staunchly defending their votes, that they will go there with their conscience And intact. we hope that translates into the actual act on the day voting, when you come right. face to face with that amount of money. Joining us now to discuss the issue of vote buying is a social commentator, Shiji Bomi Adibi Bennett. Shiji, good morning. Good morning and good. thanks for having me. It's right. nice to have you join us. Now, let, let's put you on hold a little right. bit, uh, Shiji. Let's go to Port Harcourt, where we have our correspondent, uh, Uche Okoro, from uh, River State University roundabout in Port Harcourt. Uche, good morning. It's good to have you join us now. Uh, when it comes to issue of uh, vote buying, we just heard some youths talk to us in uh, uh, Ogun State. What, in, in River State. Sorry, in, in River, River State, it, right. Yes, exactly. What, 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 what are they saying in River State? Well, um, people are quite divided because, you know, um, Nigeria, it is not news that there is a lot of um, economic um, hardship in the land. Nigeria is just recovering from a recession. So quite a number of people are still struggling and living from hand to mouth. So there is division. So people are saying, well, um, if this is our only opportunity to get a share of the national cake, we will get it. You know, while others are saying, well, um, for our future, we will stay away. Uh, it's few days to elections. Just by my left here, there's a, um, a newspaper stand. There's been very serious arguments um, put about, about political developments in the country. That tells you that there's a lot of division on issues um, relating to vote buying and quite a number of other issues, PVCs, candidates, and the election, and so on. So it's mixed feelings. But let me put it, let me put um, some residents of the state here on the spot. I have a gentleman to my left and a quite older man to my right. I'll put them on the spot and let me ask them a few questions, if you let me. Um, good morning. Um, kindly introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Richard Romeo. I'm a student or investor of Port Harcourt. All right, now, let me ask you this question. What is vote buying? Definition, simple. Okay. For me, vote buying, I've not really checked it in dictionary, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. psychologically I can understand that mm -hmm. vote buying is when politicians, they come to the voters by providing them not only money, they can provide them bag of rice, tomatoes, food. And sometimes for the women, they can provide rappers just for them to vote for them. But on my own part, vote buying is bad because... Before you get there, okay. thank you for that definition. Okay. Just, just hang on, I'll come back to you. All right, good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Just kindly introduce yourself. Thank you. My name is Alaji Mohamed. So what is the question? All right, what <laughs> is vote buying from your perspective? As an answer, we yes, don't waste my time. Vote buying has different meaning to different people. To me, vote buying is when the politicians are giving you money. They take, vote for me. That's to me. Which I don't think is proper. I've been voting as far back as 1979. I've never collected any money from anybody to vote. I vote for party of my choice. 
Mm. Okay. So now, what do you make of this? Would you consider this to be um, a positive um, trend for our democracy and for our politics in Nigeria? Well, to start with, uh, we have not we have not got it right. Our political system is still defaulting. So some take this money to be an appreciation for coming from a far place mm -hmm. for their meal and other things. Mm -hmm. Some take it to be maybe just a gift. So by the time you cannot afford at your nearby house, you have to take a cab to come down and to eat before going back to the house in the evening. You deserve something from whoever you are doing it for. So it's high time our electoral body put a system that you can vote at anywhere you are. So it doesn't demand any transport money, any feeding, a stone throw. You can just walk there and vote. If I just hold that thought, I'll come back to you. All right, and let me ask you, gentlemen, uh, what do you make of this? Is this something that we should encourage in our politics? For me, we shouldn't encourage vote buying because most of the candidates, they will budget some amount of money just to give people to vote for them. And if you notice, when those people take that money and vote for them, when they come into office, the kind of true misappropriation or true embezzlement of funds, the public funds use it for themselves. And for me, vote buying is not supposed to be encouraged because you, the right candidate ought not to give you his or her money or goods for him to vote for you. It's supposed to be something that is come, it's supposed to come to you and he's supposed to read his manifesto to you and your own conscience will say, okay, all these things that I've seen, all these um, things that you have said, okay, if I vote for you, this is what will happen. But when the politician comes to you just to give you money, bag of rice and all that thing, for me, it's not proper because when he comes into office, we'll forget about so you it. Think it should be stopped? It should be stopped. It All should right. be st Thank you so much. All right, let me just ask you one last question, sir. Okay. What do you think forward? Elections are just a few days away. How much of a problem is this? And what do you think is the way forward? Mm, to my belief, this election will be a very credible one because the step everybody is taking mm, to be candid, there is less violence. And the party, both of them, are, all the parties are compliant to the rule and regulation. So there will be no crisis and the vote buy will even be minimized. Mm -hmm. Because to what we are seeing in River State, the campaign is going on smoothly, no any issue. Mm -hmm. The governor asks our political, go down to your unit. Mm -hmm. So we are doing it unit by unit. Mm -hmm. okay. Fortunately for me, I'm made of one unit. I've coordinated my unit. We know who we are voting for. We are not needed to be giving money before they vote. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Well, you've just heard from um, a younger man to my left and an older man to my right. Thank you so much for joining us live on TVC News this morning. Uh, we wish Nigeria the best on Election Day. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Well, you've just heard from them. Uh, we can only hope that persons will listen to, you know, the uh, messages that have come in various sensitization campaigns that have been kicking against vote buying in river states and uh, across the country as well. I'm back to you, Studio. Thank you very much, Uche, for uh, giving us uh, insight into River State, you know, how people uh, feel there. Let's come back to the studio. We have with us uh, social commentator, uh, Shiji Bomi Adebi Bennett. Bennett. And uh, we have been... All right. When it comes to vote buying, it could mean di different things to different people. Uh, like uh, all those who spoke there were trying to be careful not to uh, miss the definition, <laughs> if there is a dictionary definition of vote buying. But keeping that aside, it is always very easy to say vote buying is bad, vote buying is wrong, vote buying is bad for the polity, we shouldn't allow it and all of that. But if we look at the realities on ground where the people feel that they are not part of the process, the people feel that they are being neglected by government and all of that, and then the mindset of the fact that on the day you are giving the money, that is when you see these people because you won't see them again until the next four years, is a mindset. Do, do you think that those who even profess not to want to be part of it Really, on the day they come face to face with the five thousand or a ten thousand or a fifteen or twenty, or depending on how much, do you think they are going to stand by that? I don't think so. And to be realistic, um, the definition definition is clear: mm. vote buying is buying of votes, mm. and it has always been with us. It started with um, vote sourcing, whereby people who belong to a particular party will organize themselves, maybe two days, three days, week of election, they distribute things. I can remember in 2011, where I used to stay, was very close to a political party's um, local government secretariat. And 
rice, bags of rice, and um, even dead chicken. Mm -hmm. And I had to call one of the youths that, do you know what you are taking away? You don't know what killed this chicken. And somebody gave it to you, and you are taking it home. So it has always been with us. But you know, Nigeria is very, we are a very peculiar people. <laughs> so what happened was that when the other machinations of politicians were failing, they concentrated on vote buying, whereby stuffing of ballot boxes was already failing because of the evolution and the, the, the different um, advancements uh, in election, electioneering by Heineck. Then um, all those um, political toggery, whereby you make sure people don't vote in a particular area where you're not strong. And INEC had to do rerun. There was an um, amendment to ways you can do rerun. So when all these things were failing, then politicians now looked at vote buying. It used to be vote sourcing. I think it, it started a bit, uh, and it degenerated into see and buy. That was when it became a problem. Oh, all right, you, 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 uh, you know, make, giving us, you know, you know some, some, some familiarization now with all these ills that have pervaded uh, the elections in Nigeria. But uh, talking about this vote buying, I even want to know whether people are mindful of the implications of this for themselves and the country at large. You see some people will say, I will still vote my conscience, but then I will collect the money if given me. The, the, the peculiarity of our polity is also the problem. There are three kinds of people, or three kinds of voters. Number one are the people that will not even collect money at all. They will vote their choice based on maybe information, affiliation, or communication. Any, in any way, they will vote their choice. Then the second category of people are people that are really expecting something. Mm. They've made up their mind. It's a stereotyped mindset that these two major parties, or even all the parties, they're the same thing. So we, it, no matter the person we vote, mm. let's collect what we need. Some people went to collect PVC, paid 500, 1,000, just because that day they, were go they know that they're going to get something. Then the third category of people are the flexible-minded. Okay, mm. I will vote my conscience, conscience but... If you give me money, I will take. You won't follow me to the Kubiko, mm -hmm. where I will vote. Right. But those people, it's still a very dangerous trend because those people can still be twisted. Because I can remember in Ekiti, Ekiti is my state, and you know, on the week of the election, people made as much as 10,000 there. Some people collected 3,000. Civil servants collected 3,000. It's, 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 mm -hmm. it's not a rumor. We, we have um, documented reports of that. Okay. So they gave them cash. Then there, there was stipends. All right, Suji, let, let, me, let, me, let me put you on hold. Uh, let, let's get to uh, our reporter, our boss, Edi Omoyi, joining us from uh, Berger, or Bega, as you would call it, somehow, okay, right. here in Lagos. We have a Bega in Abuja, but the, we're here in Lagos right now. Our Edi, good morning. It's good to have you join us. Uh, what are Nigerians saying, or Lagosians, what are they saying about vote buying this morning, as we have just four days to uh, the D-Day of the election? Mike and Kemi, I'm at uh, Ojo Berger here in Lagos, the border town between Lagos and Ogun State. And uh, I'm in Nigeria. I heard about the topic, I mean, a lot of them were interested in talking. So I'm just going to move over to them and hear from some of them the opinion of vote buying and what they will do should they be presented with uh, some form of uh, uh, compensation or, you know, inducement now for their vote. Good morning, thank you very much God bless for joining us. All right. If, you know, how much is a vote worth? How much would you be given that will make you sell your votes? See one thing, I don't think that there's something that you give me that make me sell my vote. Okay. Because my vote is my best right. One thing I never blame these, those politicians. I blame those, I call them fools that said they are best right. So even if they give you a million naira... I never even think, even though you build a mansion for All right, well let's find out if the views will be different from yet another Nigerian. All right, you want to say something? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. All right, so how much is the vote worth? Well, for me, I don't need the, I don't need money. If our leaders or our rulers are very good, they, we don't need to, they don't need to buy vote from us because we look at what they have done to us, then we vote for them. So we don't need any money from them. We rather need something that will make us to be happy. Thank you. 
another Nigerian. Well, let's just get to meet some people. Okay, a younger. Okay, let's come to a younger Nigerian now. Good morning. Good uh, morning. My name is Adiola uh, Jarry. Oh, all right. Very interesting. So let's see. You are okay. Not too old. So how much is your vote worth? I can't say my vote because my vote is my birthright. But what, you know, some people consider it as being part of their birthright also, the money that the politicians give out. Those, they don't know what they are doing because it's like they are selling their future. Why you, know, you say your vote, you are selling your future because you don't think of the people coming in your back, the next generation. Like we now, people, uh, this um, present um, uh, government, they have been there, they have been promising us so many things and we have not even seen a dime of it. Let, okay, let, 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 let's move elsewhere. An older man, yes. at least compared to yes. the gentleman. So, uh, how much is your vote worth? My vote worth billions, billions of naira. But when I get into that place, I will vote for my conscience. I know the right person to vote. Those money, like you rightly said, they are um, stolen monies. So, they should, if they give us, there's nothing wrong. Take the money, advise all Nigerians, take this money, whatever they give you. But go inside and vote who your conscience chooses to vote for. Don't worry, whatever, but take the money because they made us to be poor. So we want to recover it back anyhow. By Yes, anyhow, we want to recover it back. It's just our stolen money. Who, which of them are not thieves? Nobody is innocent, to be precise to you. None of them are innocent. You hear me? All right then. All right then. A whole, okay. a whole, a whole lot of views rather coming from Nigerians. So I think it's, um, it's about making a choice whether or not to collect the money because some people see those monies as being stolen from them. So they believe they can collect the money and vote their conscience. I really don't know how this will go during the elections. <laughs> and then... day, thank you so much for... Uh, that uh, uh, that one there. Now let, let's let's bring it back. You heard Nigerians say that, and the last speaker. It, it seems he is the one speaking. What really resonates amongst majority Many. of people out there who feel that uh, well, this They're money entitled. is ours in the first place. So right. uh, if they give you collect it and go and steal. But if we look at the real reality, try, trying to attach rationale to it, the moment monies are given and you collect. Do you think that uh, your conscience at that point can be very objective? I don't think so. Okay. And politi politicians are a step wise now. Mm. They don't just give you money. You don't even because know the kind of know... money they're giving you. Okay. And I, I like to base my um, assertions on facts mm. and information because there are also documented reports in Oshun whereby both political, major political parties, you know, engaged in vote buying, and guns, then guns were even laid on the floor for voters to jump over before they give you that money. There were situations where... Is that whereby, a kind of an oath? Or what's um, we, I think so. Mm -hmm. So there were situations whereby, um, what's it called now, um, concussions were even given for people to take. There were situations whereby handkerchiefs were given to show your affiliation to the political party you want to go vote for. Do you know what kind of handkerchief you are being given? Do you know what kind of money you are being given? That's why I said it's dangerous. We can't um, publicly thrive or, or, or discuss the supernatural, but you know, we Nigerians have to be careful because when they give you that money, that's why I said it's still dangerous. You think you go into that cubicle to vote your mind mm. or your conscience, but you could be hypnotized and vote what that's that's even another to. twist now. And, and, and you know, in <laughs> law, and, and you know, even in, in law now, those things have no, in no, no basis, have yeah. no place yeah. in, in law. But Saturday is almost here. What's your final word now? What, what would you, do you think your predictions will be now? Do you think Nigerians are more aware of the, 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 the ills now in this trend? So, more Nigerians will desist from it. I think more Nigerians are expectant, really, to be realistic. I think so many people are waiting for their money. The people we've talked to are exposed people, they're educated people who make maybe 20, 25% of the voters. Somebody that cannot express himself or herself did not come to the camera. So, and <laughs> a lot of the voters, the artisans, the market women, they are used to it. Because even when it was so, um, vote sourcing, they were the ones that were being sourced. They were the ones that were collecting the wrappers. 
They were the ones that were collecting the Maggies and the uh, and other things. So we still have a good chunk of that of, of that category of people, and it's a mindset thing for mm, them. It's a mindset. They don't need to yeah. get to uh, to the polling stations on election day before they get their own. Okay. They, All right. Their own stuff. Uh, Bomi Adebi Bennett, thank you so much for coming on the program this thank morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much.